We are going to talk about EBL lash products and I'm so excited to tell you about them. I have put a lot of thought and research and lots and lots of more thought and research into developing the greatest product that will work best for you as a lash artist. Let's start with one of our most important products that we use, lash trays. So our lash trays come with up to 16 rows and that is 25% more than other lash retailers. So our lash trays are super soft, super flexible, very lightweight. Your client shouldn't have an allergic reaction to the lashes themselves because they're made of PBT synthetic fiber. The lashes should never lose their curl they are made and heated to perfection to where they should never lose their curl. We guarantee the shelf life for two years. The flexibility and the softness of the eyelash, when it's placed on a natural lash, it allows that natural lash to move as it naturally would. If you had an eyelash extension that was too stiff and maybe wasn't made of the highest qualities, it could be too stiff and not allow movement on that natural lash and would just pop off. It wouldn't have a great retention. Now we have tweezers. You will always use two tweezers. One for your left hand, which is your separator. One for your right hand, which grabs those eyelash extensions and places them on the natural lash. You always wanna make sure that you have a nice, high quality, sharp tweezer. Tweezers can be very important. If you don't have a good set of tweezers, it can actually slow you down in your work. We offer a variety of different tweezers. I personally prefer a straight tweezer for my isolator and a straight tweezer as my pickup tweezer. Some people prefer a curved tweezer for their isolator or a curved tweezer for their pickup. It's totally personal preference. There's really not a tweezer, a straight or a curved that I'd say works better than another. It's just if you prefer a straight tweezer or you prefer a curved tweezer. We also offer tweezers that are a little longer and tweezers that are a little shorter. Again, it's totally personal preference. Let me tell you about the Nano Mister. When I first started doing lashes, we didn't have Nano Misters. Now we have Nano Misters. We've learned that adhesive is cured by moisture. So at the end of the treatment, you're going to use a Nano Mister to add a little bit of moisture back to that client's eyes that was taken away from the adhesive. It's also the last step to change that adhesive from a liquid to a soft solid. A little bit of nano misting can go a long way. You don't want to come too close to the eye. You want to be about 6 to 12 inches away from the eye when you're nano misting. In your nano mister, you will always make sure that you're only using distilled water. You don't want to use anything but distilled water. Distilled water is very clean and pure, and you don't want to clog that nano mister. If you're in a very high humidity, I'd say 50 to 60% natural humidity, you may not need to use a nano mister. You may have enough humidity in the air in your studio where you are that that adhesive is collecting moisture from the air as you're lashing so an anamister may not be necessary they're usually really great in a climate that is more dry or needs more moisture if your client tends to have red eyes or maybe a little more irritation than most it's definitely best to use a nanomister on them the water can start the curing process, which stops the adhesive from being active, and it can lessen the chance of an irritation or a reaction that your client might have. The Nano Mister is also very soothing on the eye because during the appointment, your eyes can become dry because again, that adhesive is pulling any excess moisture. So it might be pulling moisture from your eyes, it might be pulling moisture from the air. That's why some people like to have a humidifier in their room to just give some moisture for the adhesive to grab from. We also used to say that after the eyelash appointment, clients should wait 24 to 48 hours before getting their eyelash extensions wet. Because we are now curing with a nano mister, we don't necessarily need to have them do that wait time. Back in previous years when we weren't using a nano mister, what would happen in those 24 to 48 hours is the adhesive would grab moisture from the air and it would take that long for the eyelash extensions to then cure. Once they are cured, you're good to go. So now that we're using a nano mister, generally you can get them wet about four to eight hours after nano misting. If you wanna be on the very safe side, you can stick with 24. 
hours, but 48 hours definitely is not necessary. Some lash artists prefer to wear a face mask while they are lashing. The benefit of wearing a face mask is that you are not breathing in those fumes from adhesive all day. Um, it also acts as a barrier between you and your client if any kind of sickness is going on or anything like that. Wearing a face mask is total preference. We always say clean lashes are happy lashes. That is where the foaming wash comes into play. We want to make sure that our client's lashes are clean. Dirty lashes can mean that there may be oil buildup or makeup buildup that will be oily and may break down that adhesive, causing not very good retention. Make sure that you have your clients come with no mascara on, no makeup around their eyes, and tell them to come with clean lashes, but sometimes they don't. So sometimes you need to use that foaming wash to get them clean beforehand. You can do it while they're laying in your bed if you prefer, or you can send them to the restroom, tell them to wash their lashes very well, and then have them come down and lay for their appointment. The foaming wash is also a great retail product to have on hand. It's great to sell to your clients. You can also include it in a free full in a full set for free if you'd like. Teaching them and telling them how to wash and how important it is to wash is our job as the lash artist. They don't come to us with the knowledge like, oh, I know I need to keep them clean. I know I need to wash them. They generally don't know and it's our job to tell them. If we don't take the time to educate our clients and say they're not washing their lashes and we didn't tell them upright in the first appointment, it may get awkward down the line when they are dirty and then you have to say, hey, like, it looks like your lashes are a little dirty. I think you could benefit from washing them and you may have better retention. So it's always great to tell them upfront, educate them. You are the genius in lash extensions and it's our job to educate. I'm gonna tell you a story about iPads. So whenever I had a client that came to me as a fill from someone else, they didn't always get the luxury of an iPad from their previous lash artist. So they would always comment and say, what are these? They feel so amazing. Like, I'm so happy you use this. It feels so much better than just tape. So I'm always gonna recommend that you use iPads iPads are very cooling and comforting on the client's eyes. And if you do need anything additional like tape, you can always put that on top of the iPad. But it is very comfortable and it feels like a luxurious appointment for your client if you're using the iPads. So the iPads are used to hold down the bottom lashes because you need something to hold down those bottom lashes. If we didn't use an iPad or anything, what would happen is when we're attaching the eyelash extension to those top lashes, we would glue those all together and our client would not be able to open their eyes. So we always want to use something to hold down those bottom lashes and make sure they're not getting in our way. Your remover won't be used very often. The only time you'll use the remover is if you're removing all of the lashes in that set. You don't want to use the remover if you just want a few individual lashes removed, say if you're doing a fill or if you're doing a full set, because you don't want that remover to get on the other lash extensions that you'd like to keep. So. If for some reason the client wants all of her lashes off, you would then use the remover. You wanna make sure that you don't get the remover in their eye as it will cause some irritation. When you're using the remover, make sure that you always put an iPad down to protect her skin. You also don't wanna get the remover on her skin. When you're done doing your removal, you wanna wash her eyes very well with a warm washcloth with water or some baby wipes and then also send her the bath to the bathroom to cleanse her lashes free of any remover it may have left. Let's talk about micro swabs. Micro swabs, you'll always use new ones. That's not a product that's reusable. <laughs> you'll use your micro swabs with primer. You'll use it with your remover. You can also use it with your sealer. It's a very great lint-free product that you can use to apply products to the eyelash extensions. You wanna make sure that anything you use around the eyelash extensions is lint-free because they are attracted to lint and they'll just grab onto lint. So the micro swabs are lint-free and great to use. We have mascara wands. So you wanna use a new mascara wand on every client. Um, it's also very nice to send the client home with a new mascara wand every time. You wanna teach them that they should brush them about once a day. You wanna brush your hair every day, you wanna brush your lashes every day. So teach them to brush and teach them that when they're brushing, if one or two fall out, that's totally normal. You lose a few eyelash extensions every day, 
and it should be attached to your natural lash. Again, it's important to educate our clients on how eyelash extensions work so that when something like that does happen, when they're brushing and they lose a few eyelashes, they don't have a panic attack. There are a few different kinds of tape. They'll all generally work the same. It's just your personal preference on which one you prefer. So again, I prefer not to use just tape to hold down those bottom lashes. I want you to put an iPad first and then put tape on top if you need any extra security. Especially if you're a new lash artist, you will most likely be using tape. We have little air blowers. Those are used to blow away any fumes throughout the appointment. If for some reason your client maybe has a little sting in her eye, she may have just opened a little and gotten a little catch of fumes from the adhesive, that's when you just use your little blower for a few seconds until the irritation is gone. Your jade stone is used to hold the adhesive. It keeps it cool and that's what you'll place the adhesive on every time you need a new adhesive dot and throughout your appointment. Sometimes you will see that some people prefer to put a piece of tape over your jade stone and then put your adhesive on that. It seems to form a really nice bubble and then when you're done with that adhesive dot you can just take that tape off. Again, that's something that's preference, whether you prefer to just put the adhesive on the jade stone or if you prefer to put the adhesive on a piece of tape on the jade stone. Primer is used at the beginning of the appointment. It is used to get any oils or debris or dust off of those natural lashes and clean, give you a nice, clean, fresh slate. Sealer is used at the end of the appointment. Think of it as your top coat. So think of it as you painted your nails and now you want to put this top coat on. It just gives you that extra security and maybe a little longer lasting of extension. So your sealer is your top coat, the last step of the eyelash extensions. I prefer to apply the sealer with micro swabs. I prefer, I feel like I have a good control over how much product I'm adding and I can see where I am with it. Sealer is also a great product that you can sell to your client as home care. Um, if someone is working out a lot or going in saunas, steam rooms, sweating a lot, going in pools, um, around a lot of water, sealer can help seal those lashes back in and hopefully make them last a little longer. You want to tell your client to apply the sealer about every other day. If they are doing a lot of saunas, steam rooms, working out, you want to make sure that they wash their face after they do that because salt is in your sweat which can break down your adhesive and then you want to put your sealer on.